I just want to start off by saying that my biggest dream is that maybe not in my lifetime, but in my future kids' lifetime or their grandkids, our country is going to have free tuition. It's ridiculous how expensive it is. And so here's what happened and what my Monday looked like. So I had to make a stop before coming home. So when I pull up to Walmart because I needed my coffee and my um, my coffee creamer and my milk, I was too lazy to literally just drive all the way up to the to look for parking closer to the entrance. I was just like, here's the first parking. It's at the end of the lot. I'm just gonna pull in right here. I got my coffee creamer and my milk. I remember going to the self checkout line lane. Again, I got there and usually there's like a Walmart employee like in the middle, so just kind of like observing. I didn't need any help. I paid for my stuff on cash. I got my receipt. I grabbed my bag. I put my stuff inside my hoodie. My hoodie is a weird hoodie with these stupid pockets that are not, it's not this hoodie, it's a different hoodie. That's on this, the pockets are like here on the side and I'm always thinking like that is very weird for the side pockets to be like all the way back here. Like they should be in the front. So every time that I wear this particular hoodie, I always keep my hands in my pocket just because I'm scared that I'm going to lose something. The next stop, I before I needed to go home and do this stupid college payment that I was talking about, that I was super paranoid about, I see, of course, I have my gas light is on. So of course, I pull up to, to Wawa to get my gas and I tell the guy, 20 regular. I go to reach into my pocket and my wallet's not there. Okay, no problem. Maybe I got into my car and I threw it on my passenger side, which sometimes I do. Like I'll just take my purse or my wallet or like my phone sometimes and I just place it on the passenger seat while I'm driving. I got out the car. I pretty much lifted the little weather mat that's under my um, driver's side. I was pushing the seat back and pushing the seat forward, nothing at this point. It just clicked in my head. If I lost it, I need to hurry up, time sensitive. So I'm rushing back to Walmart, which was like just pretty much up the block. At the same time, I'm calling Elvis and I'm telling him, I'm like I lost my wallet, like in my, I don't have my wallet. My entire college tuition is on my debit card. Driving to Walmart, I parked so crazy. I parked in the same spot where I originally parked, but when I didn't see it in the, like right where my parking spot was, I just sprinted towards the door. I get to the self checkout line and I see the two employees, the same two employees there. And I, as I'm talking to them, I'm like quickly glancing my area where I did my self checkout. I was like, did you see a black wallet? Did you see a black leather wallet? You left, I quickly scanned your area. No, there was nothing there. And so I, I lost it. I immediately picked up the phone. I called Elvis. When I saw the self checkout was empty, I remember seeing the messages Elvis sent. And as the two Walmart employees were talking to me, I was on my phone right away. Most bank apps have a button where you can literally slide your finger and you can block your credit card for instances like this one. So I was trying to find this feature on my app as the two employees were talking to me and they're like, you know, we have cameras. What did you lose again? Can you please describe it? I am not even talking to them because I am just panicking at this point. I'm crying and I can't see, I can't breathe. And I'm on my phone trying to find this feature and I can't, so I can't find a way to block it. So immediately I'm like, okay, I need to get rid of this money. I need to send it some, to someone that I can trust. So I'm trying to send it to Elvis and right away Venmo sends and pops up this message where it says um, the amount exceeds the limit or the amount exceeds our, I don't know, it's something along those lines. So I, I was like, okay, no problem. I'll just try to do half of the amount and send it in two separate transactions. So I'll send the first half quickly and then I'll send the second half 
quickly and then I know that I would be safe and that my money at least was protected because this is my tuition money. Tuition, college tuition when you are full time is so expensive. If I had lost this money and at this moment all I am thinking is I have no way to replace this money in no time soon. So I'm freaking out and I'm just, you know, I'm trying to do that. I call him. I was like on the phone hysterical. I mind you guys, at this point, everyone around me at Walmart was just staring. Like, what is going on? I was like hysterically crying on the phone. I don't even remember what I was saying. He is like bent over crying, telling him like my it's all gone, it's wiped out, I don't know what I'm gonna do and it exceeds the limit i can't send it to you i don't know what to do if you're probably wondering i should have just called my thing here's the thing i could not rationalize at this point rain was going like turtle speed it just wasn't going as fast as i needed my as i needed it to it was not catching up with my instincts it just wasn't so I, at this point, I remember just taking the girl from Walmart. She's like, you can walk over to customer service with us. We will help you. We will look at the cameras. And I just remember thinking really quickly, it was like a flash of a second thought in my brain, thinking if there are cameras and I can see that someone took my wallet, that still does not help my case because I need that money to be secured and safe somewhere. So I remember asking her, are there cameras in the parking lot? She said, yes. Immediately, my brain said, you need to run to the parking lot and trace your steps over. So that I just ran out. I didn't even say anything to these two people that were with me, the Walmart employees. I ran. I started to pace my steps. And I'm literally like, God, please don't do this to me. You know this money is not play money. It's not for me to have fun or splurge on unnecessary things. Like, this is my investment into my future. Please, God, don't do this to me. Placing my steps and I'm walking. And my car was the last car parked. Then there was maybe two cars before where I was parked. I saw my wallet on the floor. It was like, it was God sent, like it was just dropped. I, oh my God, I ran to my wallet so fast. I picked it up, the first thing I did was like just open it. As soon as I saw my cards there and everything there, I picked up the phone and I called Elvis and I just started bawling because it was just it was so crazy. So anyway, I got on the phone, I told Elvis, I found my wallet, it was all good. I was like, thank you guys for listening. Um, this is usually a beauty fashion lifestyle channel, but I felt like some story time was definitely needed. Anyway, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you kind of want to stick around and leave a comment down below because I want to know what you guys think of this story. Let me know if you guys think it's crazy. Let me know if you think that shit only happens to people like me. Anyways, I love you guys and I hope that you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you guys in my next video.